Hello, the Vinyl Community. I know you see, we're out there, I've seen your videos. I think I'm a member. I haven't put a video on YouTube before, but I have on my wall records that I'm very happy with. They aren't necessarily worth a lot of money or collectible, but I just have my favorite colors, covers. This is Pete Brown and his battered ornaments. A meal you could shake hands with in the dark. The uh, lyricist with Jack Brown and the cream stuff. found his album. This one is the Battered Ornaments. I know there's that other band of his, but the thing is, he's terrible. Uh, still, I love this cover. I have three others. I have the meters with the clocks on it. All the meters, I guess they're not clocks. All the different kinds of meters with sophisticated sissy and family music in a doll's house. I mean sissy strut. Family music in a doll's house. Another one of my favorite covers. It's a dollhouse. The music's good, relatively, just like the meters. Far better than Pete Brown. And then I have a crappy Appleton album, the second cover, Rotten to the Core. Love this album cover. I love the first crappy Appleton album. I love it. This one, I don't even know if I ever listen to it. I really don't. Perhaps I should pull it out and listen to it. I will never part with this, that's for sure. So I am contacting the vinyl community to ask a question. I wanted to I had a question on it, but I wanted to make it clear that I I think I belong here. I think I'm a legal member. I noticed that all the videos have to be made in front of collections of vinyl and such, so I did so. I think that's the rule. Um, now, I assume that this is not the usual thing, but I am interested in knowing the question to this question, the answer to this question. Are these albums worth selling? So I have a bunch of albums here, and I don't know if they're worth selling. Normally I wouldn't sell any albums, but I'm selling, I would think, consider selling these because I don't care about them. And I had gone through my vinyl and pulled out all sorts of stuff I didn't care about and just sold them. But these ones I had looked up and were supposedly worth something. And now I'm looking at them thinking, well, should I sell them? I did get rid of other ones I didn't care about, but now these seem a little bit cooler. <laughs> so I don't, don't necessarily want to get rid of them so simply, but I'm never going to listen to them. So if they're worth the money, I would probably sell them, but if they're not, I, I would just keep them. So does anybody know the unusual classical synthesizer? Um, interesting cover. Cloud Nine, The Temptations, I would think this is worthless. Uh, how many billions of these are there? But it looked like it had something to it. It's definitely got a great cover. It's not in great condition. And that's another big issue is I'm not really sure about condition. When I look at the vinyl, I think it looks good, but I'm not exactly sure what the criterion are. I know collectors care a great deal. The Appalachian Dulcimer by Gene Ritchie. Really, this is worth something? Uh, Gene Ritchie's actually from around here. I've seen her, she's cool. This is worth something, seriously? Um, the best of Louis Armstrong, here's another shocker. The albums I had in here that would be worth something, I wouldn't have guessed. Is this really possible that a best of? I know it's Decca, I can see that and everything, but really, a best of? I would think this would be worthless too. I, yeah, I'd probably get rid of this one either way, because I don't, I don't know if I care. Decca. Mm, Louis Armstrong, and it just doesn't move me. Nick Drake, brighter later. This probably one. This one probably I should just keep. Uh, I've been reading about it, and I know that I was totally shocked at how much it was worth because when I was growing up, Nick Drake was unknown, basically. Well, he was known by the vinyl community, but now he's known on TV, and now he's really big, and this is worth something, even though it's not an original. It's an Antilles later release, and I'm shocked. So that's kind of cool, because I love Time Has Told Me so much. Wires, Chair Missing. Wire, Chair is Missing. Beautiful. I always thought this was a beautiful album, but boy, is it boring. I thought. No offense to anyone who do this differently. A Fella album was worth something? With his billions of albums? This is With his billions of albums? This one's in pretty good shape, too. Live in Amsterdam? Fella? And here's another shocker for me. 
Blood curdling terror horrors, Terry. Sounds like you. Wait. Sounds to make you shiver. I don't have any idea why I would have ever bought this album. Was it for the cover? The cover is pretty cool, but it wasn't like me to look at something and give a crap about that. Oh, it's got the black skull on the back. It is pretty cool. And here's another Fella album. So Fella actually had a couple. This one's like just a 12 inch or something. It's only got two songs. Special discotheque Fella. They are 15 minutes. Maybe it is a normal sized album. Jake and the Family Jewels. Yeah, know nothing about them except that I don't care. Then there's an Eno. You know, here come the Warren Jets. Kind of shocking that this is worth something. It probably isn't. <laughs> so probably if somebody would say, yeah, that's a piece of crap. Well, not necessarily music, but value of the vinyl. Then I could probably just go, okay, then, I mean, I don't really care. Although, I haven't really given this a shot in a long time. I should at least listen to it. Al D. Miola. John McLaughlin Paco de Lucia. I know that I don't need to listen to this. Uh, I used to have more open mind about it, but this kind of jazz leaves me cold. I know that now. I've tried. I give up. Speaking of that, McDonald's and Giles, or Giles, however you say that one, same kind of thing. Progressive rock on the jazz side just doesn't do it for me. I realize a lot of people love it. It's just not, it's just not me. That's all right. And here's MDC, Millions of Dead Cops, singing their hit song, No More Cops. It's in pretty damn good shape, too. Is this really worth something? Hardcore? Hmm. And again, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't get rid of this one. I kind of like it. Anyway, just want to know if they're worth anything. And if they are, that might make me want to keep them more. But it may, may, may motivate me to say, okay, I'll try to sell them, make it worth my while. I could use a little, little money would help. It's always nice.